Bro, one of the most underrated, forgotten, powerful, 7 billion Omni Negate decks in the game, Crusader Guard Dragons. How did everyone forget about this deck? This deck's amazing. I'm going to show you guys right now how to play it properly. The game plan behind the deck and how you should play it and how different it is going first or going second, etc. So enjoy this calm tutorial where I explain the whole deck in depth for you guys. Crusadia Guard Dragon is a threat to the throne, okay? If you are wondering what deck to pick up, looking for a little cheap alternative, for some reason, if you have a peanut of a brain and don't want to play pendulums, look no further than Crusadia Guard Dragon. Hit the subscribe button, boys. Enjoy greatness. Now it's time to show you guys why this is one of the most underrated decks in the game. Now, everyone knows what Crusadia Guard, Dragon, Guard Dragons can do. It puts up infinite negates. Everyone knows this. The issue is hand traps. You failure so use your pass. Ostrich pass, Ash Guard, Mini Guard Dragon pass, Ogre LP pass, uh, one hand trap can end the deck. Maybe one, maybe two, whatever it may be. The difference with this deck, my deck, my version of this list, is cards like this, dragged down into the grave. Now, the beauty of this deck is it does not need five cards to combo off. It really just needs one Saryuja. The second you make one Saryuja, you get the other cards you need and you win. You just need one Saryuja, and one Saryuja is enough to uh, win. One Saryuja equals infinite negates, because uh, one Saryuja will equal your... Uh, Gamma Seal, your Water Friend, your Infant Dragsters, blah, 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 Infant Negates. But you need to protect that Saryuja with your life. You need to protect a Mini Guard Dragon with your life. Like, a warrior guarding a princess, all right? You got to protect that, no matter what. And if you do that, you will win. So, you need to protect that Saryuja and your good cards like LP and your Mini Guard Dragons by cards like Dragdown. So, I play nine cards like this, not all main deck. I do side it, but it's a whole theory a huge different theory of side decking uh, that game one and game two should be your deck should be completely different with a whole different game plan uh, and you're not just siding like oh i'll side exactly four cards for thunder Dragon, exactly three cards for salmon mangre like no 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 you're siding uh you're not you're siding generically uh so you can save more space in your side for your cards like drag down exchange and stuff like that allowing you to play nine cards drag down and exchange are the two best cards aside from call by the grave Way better than Midbreaker Field, way better than uh, the Sky Striker Eagle Boosters. They're just the best ones because there's nothing in your hand that matters. They all do the same thing. You just have 30,000 Crusadia cards, 30,000 Extenders. The deck's nothing else. You just play Infinite Crusadia, uh, Infinite Crusadia's Infinite Extenders, and nine uh, Call by the Grave type of cards, and that's all you have in your deck. Then you got two Gamma Seals in case you hard draw one like you did here. Now I'm going to show you guys the difference with the hand with. A few extenders, a breaking gamma seal. So you have one Crusadia, a breaking gamma seal, two extenders. Normally you're gonna have a combination of three, uh, three uh, Crusadia slash extenders, and a drag down type of card, a call to buy type of card, and a brick. So something like that, three one one. Typically have like four one or three two, uh, versus something like this where you open zero. This is still easily the combo. I don't know why gamma seal stuck in my hand all the time, but it's still easily the combo. But this way, uh, it's just so much more protected. I'll show you guys now. Uh, you're going to obviously play it in a smart way. You're going to normal that first. Before you Magius, you go into that. It doesn't matter. You have so many extenders, you only need one Crusadia. They hit your Crusadia, it doesn't matter. You get so many extenders, you only need two to play. So your other three cards in your hand don't matter whatsoever. So it's the whole idea where if you could, like, you open exchange, there's another one. So you get rid of the one hand trap they have, so their ass is gone, whatever it may be. And you look at their hand. If there's another one, you could terraform search for another thing, get rid of the second hand trap. And just win because you have all you need. Magius Extender, you win. All you need is Crusadia and then an Extender, and you literally just win. So uh, there's no reason not to play this. Succession, by the way, is way better than the World Legacy Guard Dragon card. That Guard Dragon sucks. Uh, that card sucks. Succession, uh, obviously, you didn't want to use it for Draco, but in this hand, you had to. Uh, this hand like didn't have enough Extenders not to use Succession right away. Uh, but you want to typically save the Succession for your Saryuja. Uh, after Sayuja to go into Run MD and then Draco again to get two free monsters. And like I said, you just end up with what looked like nothing. Now you have Sayuja. You're now going to uh, search Coyote Waterfront and you're going to do the whole Waterfront Gamma Seal play with Protected. Like, it's all Protected. You had, ex you, uh, you, uh, you had uh, what's it called? Drag Down. You had the same guy you drew Called By, but you don't need Called By, obviously, because you looked at their hand. And you're going to keep going here. Uh, 
I'm gonna fast forward this one. I'll show you guys a basic one after. I just want to show you guys quickly this the game plan of the deck. Uh, so you just special the Gamma Seal. So it's like the whole uh, the other one will be slower for the ones who don't understand. I'm gonna do two replays uh, combo tutorials for those who don't understand the combo tutorial. But this is not just a combo tutorial. It's more so like a game plan idea of this deck. Like what is the game plan? Uh, what are you gonna do? You need to stick with the game plan, man. It's the only way to do it. Uh, here, destroying the dragster. You're gonna go Heretic Seal and. Obviously, this is overkill. Gamma Seal itself is enough to win. You don't even need Heretic Seal. You don't need Heart Dragon, Archfiend Abyss. You don't need Dragon. You don't need a Call Brother. You don't need these four negates. These four interruptions are enough to win. Well, five. You can kind of see these five are enough to win without Gamma Seal. But Gamma Seal equals infinite negates because the Waterfront's going to get infinite encounters. It has five. Uh, Gamma Seal has three. Waterfront has five. Just going to fix that quick. Yep. And it, it's auto win. Like, it's auto win. Uh, but it's not auto win if they hand trap my Saryuja if I didn't have the drag down, which is why you gotta play cards like this and just uh, exchange and drag down are infinitely better because it doesn't matter if you get rid of cards from your hand, you only need two cards to play. Uh, three preferably, but Saryuja will draw something nice for you, so that's all you need. Uh, next, uh, the second one, this is without one of the nine called by the graves. Obviously, you don't main all the call by the you main three call by the grave, the other six you side deck. But it's what I said about having the side deck made in a way where it's first or second. You kind of, it's like a going second, you have infinity hand traps, like 15, 12, like 12 hand traps, something like that. Going first, you have nine call by the grave type of cards. And game one, it's just like a crazy combination of all of them together. Uh, it's just like it's okay whether you're going first or second. But the difference of this list, uh, which makes it uh, so good, is it's called by. Because when you go first, you want to auto win. So now when you go first, you have nine call by the graves, you auto win if you draw one. You, uh, if you lose a die roll, you have uh, 9 to 15 hand traps to win. So, or uh, 9 to 15 cards for going second. Plus, Gamma Seals, you have like nine to, you have 17 cards you could play going second uh, that are good going second to help clear boards and then OTK their ass into Oblivion with Echo Max, etc. So, it is, you got to be wary of all that stuff, right? That's all. Uh, now, the combo, for those who don't know, is you <laughs> normal Crusadia, go into Crusadia Magius, special at Crusadia, go into. Uh, add a Crusadia monster with uh, Crusadia Magius. Go into Crusadia Spitha with the two monsters. Uh, special uh, Draco, Crusadia Draco. Uh, Draco effect. Add a Crusadia from a graveyard. Uh, Crusadia Spatha effect. Move Crusadia Draco over here. Oh, sorry. No. Then you went to LP and then LP. Uh, Spatha effect. Move LP over here. And then two zones going that way. Special Red MD from your deck. Especially another Crusadia Draco. Uh, the Magus always gets you the dragon, so it's like, oh, it's all you need is just the two. We started with a Crusadia Draco and a Crusadia Reclusia, and we just started with those two Crusadia monsters, and you're gonna end up with everything. Uh, so those two monsters alone equal the whole combo. Uh, with Sayuja, you're gonna want to open, add a dragon, which we end up drawing a dragon. We already had one before, anyways. Uh, to, and then that's all you're gonna need for the combo, uh, to end up infinite gates. Uh, if you don't draw a dragon with a Sayuja, you're gonna want a dragon beforehand. So typically, you're gonna want to save the Crusadia Draco if you can. But you already had baby dragons in your hand, so it didn't matter. Now, obviously, drag down would have been great to have at the beginning. But look how bad that hand would have been if that thing got if so usually got ogred or got veilered or got whatever it may be. Uh, that's why you, the difference between that and this hand, where you guys saw that I was just five monsters, no call by the grave cards. That, that's a, just a normal. This is a normal, uh, just a normal guard dragon crusader deck at that point. But now with this, is a whole other level of protection where you have nine of them to protect you. Draw one, you auto win. Uh, you can't play this in Pendulums because you need all the cards to combo off. But for this, you'll only need the two. As you're going to see Crusadia Draco and Crusadia like Reclusia, whatever. Just the two Crusadia cards are all I'm going to need to combo off. Every other card just a nice to have. I don't need it. right? You're going to eventually draw into everything else. And uh, it's nice to have everything else. You can do bigger boards. But all, the whole game plan is you just do the Guard Dragon combos. You're going to get a Heretic Seal, a Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Abyss, and the Gamma Seal. And then typically, because you're gonna have a shit ton of more extenders, you're gonna do more stuff like Dragster and Dweller or Call by the Grave Set or something like that. But that's just amazing. You can play through hand traps like nothing. Uh, and then, yeah, and then you uh, go into the Sayuja, you just go out your whole Guard Dragon play, you wanna summon another monster, so you go into your second Sayuja, you get a free Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, and then you go into Sayuja, Waterfront has three counters now. Uh, like, it is so good. I'm gonna keep a drag down so I can look into the hand if I want to. Uh, you can do so much different stuff you want. Uh, you add a, a Gamma Seal with Waterfront. Uh, you get a Tuner. You just do a lot of stuff here. Like, a lot of stuff. Summon that by Saryusha. So now you guys get the the, the gist here, where uh, obviously drawing a uh, drag down stuff, uh, eventually the combo doesn't really matter. You want to draw to start. 
But it, it just, I uh, banish it a little late here, banish it now, it doesn't matter. Uh, you get a little dragster there. Uh, you could have gone Dweller if you want to. Uh, there's just so much stuff you could do with this deck, and it's absolutely amazing. This, that's the, what, this is what I would do. I would look at their hand, get rid of the problem, and leave it at this. I don't need anything else. But uh, I'm going to show you different stuff you could do here. I'm going to show you some other stuff you could do. That's a five for sure. Uh, another stuff you could do is uh, you go into a third Sayuja if you didn't have a waterfront, as I'm doing right now. So if I didn't have a third waterfront, I would go... Uh, so if I, sorry, if I didn't have any waterfront, I would go into the third Sayuja. But you always have it because you have five ways. Uh, to get it going first, or th and then three or four going uh, game one, four going game one, but you side right to make a different call by grave, another interruption, uh, dweller if you want. Uh, you could do so much stuff here, uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, it just you gotta keep in mind that as long as your plays are protected, you should auto win. You should auto win as long as your plays are protected. Uh, another thing to note look at this, I don't even need any of this, I could not play any of that and just keep the gamma seal. And you win, because Gamma is infinite negates, right? It's the whole idea that two monsters, we started with Crusader Draco and Crusader Reclusia. Those two will equal Gamma Seal, Waterfront, Hot Red Dragon, Arshvina Abyss, Asaryuja, Heretic Seal, whatever it may be, a big ass board just with those two cards alone. So if the other three cards in your hand, you don't need to extend for bigger boards. You don't need to make another Drakster or Rain Dweller or whatever. You don't need to do that. The other three cards are for cards like Hallblood Grave, Exchange, return or whatever sorry drag down into the grave cards like that so i'm going to show you guys a deck profile in a few hours another video uh here's the whole game plan of then going uh after siding oh, some bra like what is this like a like a bra ad bro i'm not a girl you know look at the i don't mind it though it's hot anyways oh shit oh you, ashley madison what's up okay anyways that's the deck, guys. The deck's honestly really, really good because of the protection. Without the protection, it's just another average deck that does cool stuff. But with the protection of the nine cards, draw one, you auto win going first. And going second, you sign the 50 billion high trap. So that's the deck. I'll show you guys a combo. Uh, sorry, that was a combo. I'll show you guys the deck profile in a few hours. So hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the end of the video. Peace. That's too good. It does that shit every single turn. And with the influx of ways to stop hand traps, it's unbeatable going first, and you side kajillion, bajillion antrops going second, and win. Hit the subscribe button. New videos, multiple times a day. See you in a video in a few hours. Peace.